Hey everybody, Jay Emanion here at the MPC Photo Gym in Pittsburgh, and I am here with MPC competitor Paige Sabidra, and we are doing the Road to the 2021 NPC Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. All right, so Paige, mm -hmm. you just committed to doing the Pittsburgh, right? Yes, we are going to set that in stone. <laughs> yes, there's no turning back now that we're filming this, right? Right. Okay. And Paige, where are you from? I live in White Oak, Pennsylvania. Right here in Pittsburgh. So, what was her excuse not to do it? <laughs> it's my backyard. <laughs> yeah, but you were going to you were going to skirt out. Well, I mean, I might be making a stop to Orlando first, but that's okay. I got to come home. <laughs> right. So, all right. So right now, where we are in um, in March, you're how many weeks out from your first show? I'm four weeks. And that first show is actually going to be. So that's going to be the Border Clash. Joe, you listening? Okay, Joe, Pittsburgh girl, you listening? Okay. All right, so why did you pick that as your first show for the year? Well, um, I actually wanted to do the Arnold Amateur, but that was postponed. So um, I saw the Clash poster, which was the next following date, and I was like, sign me up, I'm ready. And this was obviously before the uh, Pittsburgh was announced and the date yeah. and the venue. So, yeah, that's why the Clash has been my... Prep well, I have, I have to give Joe props that he does put out some pretty cool posters, the mm -hmm. hashtag Clash Girls and yeah. everything. <laughs> and uh, I mean, I've never been to the contest just because of scheduling and everything. Yeah. But I know that it's it's a great contest and, yes. you know, with the pro show attached yes. to it and everything. Bikini you're, Girls. Yeah, yeah, you're going to get to see, uh, I guess that'll be, I'm thinking to myself, that'll be the first pro bikini contest of the year. I believe so, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because, um, yeah, because I'm doing the uh, Wasatch Warrior, which is after that. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So, yes, you're going to get to see. And uh, I guess the rumor is that last year's champion's coming back, Ashley Colt Wasser. Yes, her. Uh, I know uh, Lauren Deanna Miller is going to be there, too. And she's also doing the Pittsburgh. Yes, she's actually mm -hmm. going to be coming here for a road to the IFPB Pittsburgh Pro. Yes. Yes. Okay. How did you get into training and everything? Uh, so, uh, I'm a graphic designer and I work a desk job, so I eventually need to get some more daily movement in. So, joined a gym, got myself a personal trainer, and she introduced me to bodybuilding. Um, she was a physique competitor herself, and uh, looked into some shows, and um, didn't start out right away in the MPC, but once I learned about it, I signed up and did my first show here in Homestead. That was the uh, Natural Eastern show. Yeah, that's uh, promoted by uh, Dr. Gary Udick, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes. Yes, all of my early shows were Gary shows. They're Dr. Udick shows, right? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. So how many of those did you end up doing? So I did uh, that one. I also did a Mid-Atlantic. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, and I started with Bikini. Okay, and what year was that? So I started in 2017. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then also did 2018 also. And then my last show was 2019. I did the Lehigh Valley. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then what led you to switch divisions? Just kept training and yes, enjoyed I, it and kept yes. going and your body responded? Always wanted to do figure, um, but I started in bikini just to get my feet wet and that's what got me hooked. So yeah, definitely put on some size, just going through learning more and more with the gym. And here we are. Yeah, and what gym do you train at here in Pittsburgh? So right now I'm at Life Force out in Pleasant Hills. Um, I also do go to uh, Planet Fitness in North Huntington, and occasional um, I'll do uh, LA Fitness in Greensburg. So Planet Fitness, are, are you allowed to use heavy weights, or do you just go there to do the cardio machines? Well, I do cardio, <laughs> but I will. Live, I can get a good workout anywhere. Believe I'm just, me. Yeah, I'm just like because you know they mm -hmm. they're commercials. They don't want lunkheads there. True, but you know what? <laughs> I will say mine is very cool. There's a few. There, we have an IFBB Pro men's physique competitor there. Ryan okay. Stoner, he works out there. So, yeah, don't worry. I, I get okay. a cool one. <laughs> all right. So it's all because of Ryan. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, good. That's good. That's good that they can adapt. Yes. Yeah. Good workout. You know, it's a good. It's all about environment. We have a really good time. Everybody pushes each other at the gym, no matter where. I mean, I don't know. You just have to be positive. Right. Mm -hmm. So with your with your job, do you train after work? Do you go before work? Or what do you do? Yep. Always do uh, morning fasted cardio, always, and then work. Um, and then I'm an evening kind of person, so which is nice. I get all my meals in during the day, pre-workout. Plus, it's a good de-stressor from work. 
That's yes. like my go-to. Helps me sleep at night. So yeah, I'm, a, I'm an even evening workout person. All right. All right. So doing the clash, then doing the Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's your goal after that? I would love to step on a national level show this year. Um, I actually wanted to back when I did the Lehigh Valley and then wanted to, you know, do North Americans in 2020, but decided to just keep on improving, which I'm glad I did because this prep has been fantastic. Just taking the time off and now just having a very good, happy, healthy prep. So yeah, I would definitely like to place well at the Clash, do well in Pittsburgh, get some good feedback and end up on a national show. Maybe North Americans? No, listen, you don't have to say that because Gary's sitting over there. <laughs> <laughs> I love North Americans, though. I've, I've went to watch, and um, I love the live stream that you guys did 2020. It was fantastic. It wasn't bad so, for an iPhone, right? No. <laughs> I, I, watched it. I watched it all day. I was loving it. You think yes. I'm kidding? No. <laughs> We're not actually. <laughs> literally, it, was a, it literally was on the on the you know, on the, one of the things. Mm -hmm. And you could hear all the audio really well. well right. It was good. I'm props to the iPhone then. <laughs> yeah, I say that and people laugh, but it's actually the truth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it was that was crazy. It was last minute how we did all that, and Gary got it hooked up. But mm -hmm. you know, if people actually saw it, it literally was an iPhone. <laughs> But it, it, did, it did the job, right? It was great, yeah. Yeah. So, all right. So is there anybody you want to give a shout out to? Oh, sure. I would love to give a big thanks to my coach, Cami Leal. She is a IFBB physique pro. And definitely want to give all of my friends and gym partners a shout out from the Life Force. I mean, you guys helped my off season, improvement season to where I'm at now. So thank you guys. And definitely want to thank everyone at the NPC, IFBB. Thank you guys so much. I definitely have always had a great time at all my shows. And of course, I'm still here doing them. So I'm excited for what's to come this year. So thank you. All right. Well, J.M. Mannion. Pace Vidra. And we're signing out for NPCNewsOnline.com.